In this video, you will learn how to make a Google Form. Google Form is a free web-based app offered by Google. You need a Google account to access Google Forms. I am logged into my Google account. And if I click on these nine dots and scroll down at the end, I can get access to Google Forms. I click on that and this is Google Forms user interface. Google Form is part of Google Docs suite. And if you access Google Docs from your Google Drive, that is another way of reaching at Google Form. Now the basic purpose of Google Forms is to collect and analyze data. But there are many applications of Google Forms. For example, you can create an opinion poll or survey. You can create a quiz for your students if you are a teacher. And the difference between a quiz and a survey is that a quiz is graded. Every quiz question has some marks associated with that while the survey is not graded. And you simply want to get the opinion about a particular topic. And before we start creating Google Forms, another very important application of Google Forms is to make a questionnaire for research purpose. Because many of my subscribers are research students and this is a free option for you to create a questionnaire for your research. Now the beauty of Google Forms is, is simplicity and the ease with which you can create survey forms and quizzes in Google Forms. I have few examples, but let's start creating a new Google Form. To do that, there is a plus icon at the lower right corner. You click on that and a new untitled form is created for you. At the top, you can see three different tabs, questions. This is the tab in which you land when you open a new form, then responses. And I am going to show you responses in a minute. Then there are settings. At the top, we have add-ons. There are some very useful add-ons for Google Forms. And I have created a blog post for some of these add-ons, which you can read on my website. Then there is this customized theme. In this area, you can customize the appearance and look and feel of your Google Forms. Let's say I want to put an image in my header, which is above this area. To do that, I click on choose image. Now I have a large number of images available in theme section. If I click on upload, I can browse to my folder and I can select one that I have created for this video. So I click on that and I click open. And now I click on done and you will notice that the color of the background has also changed because there was this yellow and this light yellow color in my header image. Therefore, Google Forms has automatically changed the matching colors. You can change the font style in this area. Now, once I have customized my Google Form, now I can start making a Google Form. I can close this and now there are few options that are important for creating Google Forms. But at the same time, this settings tab is also very important. So let's see what is in the settings tab. I click on settings and the most important thing is at the top, whether I want to create a survey or a quiz. So let us assume that I am a teacher and I want to create a quiz for my students. So I change this to right hand side and now I will see some more options. The two main options are whether I want to release the grades immediately when someone submits the quiz or I want to release the grades later after a manual review. So normally this is the better option so that you can have a look and see if there are any issues. And now whether you want to show your students the questions they have missed or the correct answers or the points they have obtained, you can check all these settings. Now then there is a responses section. These settings are also important, whether you want to collect the email address or not. So these are very important settings and you should think about how you want to conduct a quiz or a survey. And now we are ready to make a Google form. To create Google forms, we have these tools available on the right. Let's say I put a simple question if I click on this, I have many question types. Depending on the nature of your question, you should carefully decide what should be the question type. For example, if a question has multiple answers, you might want a checkbox. If a question has a unique answer, then multiple choice is a 
better option because it has a radio button radio button means only one option can be selected if there is a explanatory answer to your question then paragraph should be a better choice for you then you can also insert date and time into your questions so this is a multiple choice question and i can give some options for example let's say 2 is my first option then 6 is my second option and let's say 8 is my third option and if you need more option you click on this next one otherwise only three options will be taken and if i click on this answer key now i can select how many points this question has let's say one point and which option is the correct so i can check this option and i click done so now i will see this tick mark here it means i have given the answer key to google forms for preparing the grades of the students and now if i click on this i icon i can preview the form so let's preview this question and this is how this question will appear to the students and now i can close this and i can create a new question i click on add question this plus icon second question is added and now here is a tip for you there are some applications where what students can do is copy your question and put in google and get some answers if you want to avoid this situation i have discussed in i have discussed this issue in another video that i will place at the end of this video so when this video ends you can click and watch that video where i have discussed various methods students can cheat in google forms and how to avoid cheating and maintain the exam integrity but one way to do that is insert images also for a math quiz if you want to type mathematics in your question there is no way to do that in google forms other than adding add on and there is an add on which can insert math expressions in google form so one way to do that is you click on add ons and this is the add on hypatia create i have already added this but you can do that and i have a separate video for that in which i explain how to add this add on so if you use this add on you can add math expressions but another way to do that is that you create math expressions on a website which is codecogs.com and then you download svg images and you insert your images here let's see how we can do that if i click on this image I can now browse to my folder and let's say I want my students to evaluate this exponent term so I click on that and I click on open I click on that and I click open and now I can put a question evaluate the following exponent term and now I have to put some options for students again I can put images and this is the correct answer click done now i can preview my form and i don't want this other option so i close this and i can delete this here so if by mistake you inserted any extra option you can simply click on this cross and that option will be deleted but this last thing will not show in your form because this is for you to add another option so in this way you can keep creating questions and it is very straight forward so let us create a question and this time i create a check boxes question let's say i type like this 1 by 2 is is equivalent to which of the following select all that are correct we use check boxes where we have multiple answers so let's say my first answer is 50% my second answer is 0.5 and i add another option which is 2 now i click on answer key and these two are equivalent to 1 divided by 2 so in this way when you have multiple answers to a question you can use questions of check box type and i click done and i can preview my form just like that now students have the ability to check multiple answer so this is how you can make a google form on your pc or on your mobile phone because the method is same it works both on pc and on mobile phone so let us close this make sure that you name this google form for example math quiz for grade 7
and you don't have to save your Google Forms. This form will automatically be saved on my Google Drive associated with this Google account. Now there are some advanced Google Forms where you use conditional logic depending on the answer of the question the participants can move to a specific section of the form that I will discuss in the next video but let's go back to my forms home page and let us see how this responses section looks so I ask some participants a question that whether there should be a time limit to a message you send in a group and I have given them few options time limit no time limit maximum two minute time limit or maximum three minute time limit so there were four options and the participants responded in this way so I can clearly see that most of them agreed to option number two in my survey form so it gives you a visual representation of the survey which is fantastic because you can make a research questionnaire with google forms and send to the population the targeted audience so this is how you can create a google form now once you have created a google form the next step is to send it to someone or to a group of people who will respond to do that there is this big button you can clearly see on the right hand side send if I click on this send, I have three options to send this form. One is via email. I may or may not collect the emails. If you are doing a research questionnaire, you don't want to collect the emails. If you are doing a quiz, you do want to collect the emails. Then the second option is you simply send this link. Click on copy. The link will be copied to the clipboard. Then you send this link to anyone who wants to respond. The third option is that you can embed this form on any website where general public can come and fill the form. So these are three different options. The most common one is send via email and then I can write own emails and I can check this box if I want, include form in the email or I can simply send this. So in this case, I'm going to send this form to myself and the form is sent. And now inside my email, I have got this email so I click on that and I got this form now I can fill out form so I click on this and now I can fill this form so let me type my email first then I answer this first question and I answer my second question let's make it wrong and put this correct and then I click on submit and I will see this message if I click on view score I can see my score as well and I can see that I have answered the second question wrong and it also shows me that the correct answer was option two. So this is how you can make a Google form, you can send it to someone and that person can submit the form. And now if I go back to my Gmail account in which I created the form, I can see that one person has submitted the response. I can click on that and I can see this result as you can see that Google form is presenting these wonderful charts for every question. So I think that now you understand the complete process of creating a Google form, sending it to someone, someone submitting the form and you receiving the form. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.